All right, I'm going to talk about a little bit about how I start creating tracks. Uh, I use Logic Pro, which is a program that you can record sequences in using internal sounds or external sounds. But for now, I'm going to be using all the sounds that are in this program, uh, plus additional sounds that you can add on to it. So let me get into that. Here's one sound called Lounge Lizard. Lounge Lizard, you get electric piano sounds. So uh, you pull that up and... That's Lounge Lizard, it's got Rhodes, Wurlitzer. Here's a Wurlitzer. So that's that. There's a bunch of different things. There's ah something called EVD6. If you load that up, that's a simulation of a clavinet. Oh no. Hold on, I gotta go to the right track. <laughs> holding the camera and playing this. So there's a Wawa simulator on there. You can take that off if you like. Off! And then it just sounds... So there's that. There's literally thousands of different sounds you can grab. So uh, here's a new one I just bought called Predator. Oh, where is it? Come on. There it is. Predator. So when I buy something new, what I'll do, I'll call it up. And let's go to the right track here. And... This specific plugin comes stock with 4,130 sounds, believe it or not. So uh, I got to start going through them and seeing if I like any. So I'll start at the top. Bank one. <laughs> I think there's 33 banks of 127 sounds. So you started sound one. Oh boy. And you just start going through them one by one. Next. So that'll take a while. So as you can imagine, uh, there's lots to go through, lots to do before you can even start writing. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll figure out some of the sounds some of the sounds that I like, and I'll store those in my own little bank so I can instantly access the sounds that I like. Otherwise, you're constantly searching through thousands of sounds again. So, uh, Also, there's a million different drum sounds. We can go through, uh, let's see, let's go through, let's see, I have entire banks of kick drums. All 88 keys full of kick drum sounds, and that's just bank one. I have probably a hundred banks of kick drum sounds. So uh, when you're writing a song or producing the song, you got to find the right kick that matches, and that goes for snare drums too. Every note is a different snare drum, so yeah could take a little while. Then hi-hats. Uh, 
Okay, so let's have some fun. Let's just start with a kick drum. Let's say, uh, let's find a sound that I like. Let's say I like that. Okay, so I'll uh, scroll up to bar three, hit the record button, and then you'll start hearing the click. Okay, we'll quantize that to make it perfectly in time. 16th notes, and then we'll loop it, let's say 10 times, okay, now we'll go to the snare drum track, sorry, <laughs> all right, I didn't like any of those sounds. So I gotta go over, pick a different sound. Where the, let's see. Stylus is loaded. That's two, so we're on snares, lo-fi one bank. Let's go to snares old school. Let's see what that sounds like. So now we'll go back to logic here. As you can hear, there's a completely different bank of sounds loaded up now. Okay, that's cool. So now we go back to, I started at bar three. So we hit record again, and then we'll hear the kick drum that I already played. And then I just add the snare to it. Okay, now we'll put that in time. It's called quantize. Put that on just quarter notes. And then loop that. Now we play it back and we'll hear. Nice. 